Well, we, we put the filter on the front of the barn doors with these, and um, most lighting men have these in their pockets. And we put one on each door, like this. Like that, and try and keep it as tight as possible. My wife says she's lost three washing machines by the crocodile clips that I've left in my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's what we, we put the filter on with that. Mm. Oh, is this it? Oh, no, here we go. The whole rolls here, yeah. I mean, that's how it, as it were, came to us from the manufacturers. Um, but the Sparks would usually have these already cut in a, yeah. in a folder or whatever for different sizes of lamps. Because um, if I suddenly said, I, I want you to put blue on all those lamps, that's and right. I saw Alan getting this out of the truck and a pair of scissors, <laughs> I'd be doing, come, what's, this go <laughs> what's going on here? I mean, they would be, they'd be pre-cut in different sizes so they'd be mm. used very quickly. And let's say, for instance say that there's a lot of sunlight coming through the window of this house and it'd be too bright. Then we use neutral density, which is this, the same as the sunglasses really. And um, this will go over the window. And if, again, uh, the cameraman was on in incandescent, then we'd have to put this across the window and this one. Uh, which is an 85, so the sun now becomes incandescent through the window. If it's too bright... More of that. More of that. And uh, uh, that, was of the, that had its own problems because being a gelatin, no matter how carefully it was put on the window, it would have, it would have crinkles and creases in it. And wherever you put a light, you'd get this dreadful light picking up on, the, on those things. On top of that, the slightest breeze, and they crackle. Uh, what we always wanted to use was the, um, the Perspex version of these, which is solid. But of course, that's very expensive. Yeah. And what's more, has to be literally prepared and cut beforehand for, to fit the window. And if you're doing a major drama shoot, you could probably do that. And, they'd, and be, if you're in one location for a long time, you get the Perspex version. Mm. And that would probably go on the outside of the window mm -hmm. and did a better job because it was constant and didn't move and it didn't reflect badly but 90 times, we're using this time, 90% of the time. Mm. And but one uh, problem with that was the p perspex, is you couldn't put it on the inside of no. the house because all the, all the picture frame would go dark and look unusual. Yeah. So um, if you were on the ground floor, all very good, you could get up there and put it in a window. But if it was on the top floor, you couldn't do it. Unless you had a, a well, scaffold rig or something outside, yes. Yeah. But what was the other stuff? Remember that you could see through one way but not the other? Do you remember it was no. silver? Roscoe. Oh, Roscoe. Roscoe, Roscoe, Roscoe. Scrim, yes. Roscoe Scrim, yes. yes. Now that was... Um, that was quite useful. That was actually. quite useful. That did the same job um, and had the merit of not reflecting badly and not crackling or anything. Against that, it did act as a diffuser a bit. So if, if the external view was important, a garden or, yeah, or other buildings, yeah. it, it became fairly diffuse because basically you're looking through an actual woven material. But what was nice about it was the fact that if uh, often you were in a shop and you, you didn't want the public to come and goggle at you through they the They couldn't window, see through, yes. Uh, you could put this over the window yes. and they couldn't see you yes. inside, but we could see everything So it, get, it kept the, um, the, the um, yeah, the gorpers away from That's right, which is yeah. often a big problem wherever we were filming. So yeah. filter was important, very important actually. Um, and but it did have problems when you fix it to windows. You know, it could be a sound problem if you didn't get it on the window correctly, because it would start to flutter and uh, give you a lot of problems with the uh, our gentleman of the sound department. I didn't like it, but um, made them grumpy. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Yeah.